G'day everyone, I am Azure Blaze, and welcome to a, what will probably be a kind of rambly video about Sonic Cross Shadow, Sonic X Shadow, Sonic Shadow Generations, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing. Uh, I don't really understand the naming conventions behind things, however, it's, it's okay, it's Sega, I guess. Anyway, yeah, let's, let's talk about it, because I am super excited for it, and more probably because of the possibilities for it rather than like like what has been shown thus far like I really like Generations like a lot it's probably my third favorite Sonic game if I'd have to take like <laughs> a look at it and all that sort of thing therefore I'm just super excited that's being like uh, re-released I mean I had many ways to play it anyway I could play it on PC or my Xbox and everything like that I, I'm pretty good with it type thing, however, like, for other people, the, it, it's probably nice on PlayStation to have, like, a 60 FPS 4K port, and then it's going to be on Switch as well, which is really nice. And, I mean, it, it I think it says in the description, let's have a quick look. Uh, it says in the description... Do, 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 do. Uh, includes a complete remaster of the classic hit Sonic Generations featuring a newly remastered versions of iconic 2D and 3D stages with upgraded visuals and new bonus content. Uh, yeah, it is remastered. It doesn't look overly redone. However, I, I can imagine the textures are all nicely upscaled and everything like that, or new textures and everything like that and all that sort of stuff. It, it'll probably look a lot better. However, like, looking at it in the trailer, it looks fairly similar at the very least thus far. Anyway, um, something of note, which we'll come back into play later, Sonic Generations uses, I mean, Sonic's using his Sonic Generations model, uh, with the Shadow stuff, it looks like he's using his Forces model, by what I can see, and I think it's going to be interesting if they put Sonic and Shadow next to each other to see the difference there, because, I don't know, the, the art style of the two games looks a little bit, like, different when you look at them together, however, Shadow's Forces model isn't too far off what his Generations model is anyway, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, the, that's sort of how I feel about, like, uh, the Generations side of it. I guess the base generation stuff, and please ignore my bird. She's been really loud because I decided to talk. Hopefully she quietens down soon. Um, however, yeah, no, there's... There's, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the Sony Generations base, like, generation stuff looks... Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it type thing, and I'm gonna play through that again. I'm gonna play through the f main generations first and fully 100% it, and then I'm gonna compare them. I think it will be a fun task and might be a fun video later down the line as well. Um, however, you know, gen generations looks pretty good. Can't wait. Now the shadow stuff, which is the most exciting. Actually, sorry. Before I move on to the shadow stuff, it does say in the description for the generation stuff, new bonus content, which hopefully uh, there might be some more levels, I, I doubt that, however, new bonus content, I, I'd imagine they're going to probably update the songs list and put stuff from Frontiers and Forces and Boom and Lost World and all that sort of stuff in there. <laughs> uh, I imagine they do all that sort of thing. And uh, I think it'd be interesting if they added, like, a couple more stages based on some of those as well, however. But we'll see what happens. Um, I don't think they're going to go that far with Generations itself, simply because they've got all the Shadow stuff on the side. And that's fine. Um, basically, yeah, let's go into the Shadow stuff now. The Shadow stuff looks amazing, and to be honest, when I'm looking at it, I can't tell if it's running in the same engine as the base generation. I can't tell if Generations has been ported over to Hedgehog Engine 2 or not. It may be. I'm having a look at it because, like, generally the biggest difference, like, um, looking at the two engines that I've always found is, like, the lighting and effects in Hedgehog Engine 2 have always been a lot better. Like, even looking at Forces, while it's art style, personally isn't as good as Generations or Unleashed's art style. It's uh, lighting and effects that are on the screen are amazing <laughs> a lot of the time. And it, it's really like difficult to sort of like see that a lot of the time with the art style and forces. However, yeah, uh, I think for the most part, like it looks really nice. And then looking at this trailer, um, 
Yeah, normal generations doesn't look like it's been ported over. I, I don't know. It, it may have been because the lighting, the, the lighting in the base head to Engine One, it always looks a little bit washed out. Where in this trailer, it's looking, I, I guess, a little bit more on par. However, it does look a little bit washed out as well. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see and hear if anything's happening there. Um, the shadow stuff that looks like it's in Hedgehog Engine 2. It, it looks like it's almost like, um, there's a lot of, like, it looks great, <laughs> I think. Uh, it, it does look like there's a little bit of a disparity between it and base generations, maybe, because it looks a lot better. However, that might be my mind playing tricks on me simply because it's new content, rather than actually looking that much better. Uh, again, something to wait and see, however, it looks amazing. Uh, graphics wise and animation wise even I don't know where these animators were during frontiers and all that sort of thing however like the animations that are shown in the shadow section look like unreal <laughs> like this, this is what I wanted in both forces and frontiers forces had some really good points with its animation and then I had really bad points with its animation as well like it was such a mixed bag of this shadow stuff like Looking at Shadow, the way Shadow moves and like uh, with his skating and everything like that, uh, I think the only noticeable thing that I would improve from that is when he's boosting, he's doing his floating thing again. I noticed that I'm pretty sure. I don't know. He only really boosts on uh, ground once. The only other time we see him boosting is on rails, or which he's not <laughs> floating. Ever, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's. Let's, let's have a quick look. I don't know. I'm waiting for it to get to. Yeah, he's floating again. On his boosting, which is, it's it's more like it's understandable for Shadow. However, it's kind of odd to look at <laughs> more than anything. Like I wish he was like at least moving while he was boosting. It looks like he's like really static, and um, yeah. However, like yeah, no, it, it looks really nice. I am, um, I'm really excited for to see the rest of the campaign. I am kind of worried because uh, it is going to be more of like an add-on campaign, I guess, two generations that what we've seen in the trailer is all there's really going to be. <laughs> I, I don't think that's going to be the case, however, I, I, I've seen some strange things with Sega before, and it's <laughs> I'm hoping there's going to be a little bit more than that, because thus far all we've seen is Westopolis. I think it's Westopolis, it looks like. It's, it's kind of like a strange Westopolis from Shadow the Hedgehog and uh, the Ark from SA2. And, I mean, the, the, it's nice to have those stages back, however, they're not the most interesting of locations. And I really hope there's, like, more... I believe it's called Sky Road in Shadow the Hedgehog. I might be wrong. It's been such a long time since I've looked at Shadow's own game. Um, however, like, yeah, that, that stage would be amazing to see redone. How I hope they're going to do it, or not necessarily hope, but my... <laughs> the the possibility that really excites me of the way they're doing it is if they're going to structure it like the base generations where it's like a set of levels, a boss battle, a set of levels, a boss battle, a set of levels, and a boss battle. It'd be really nice to see like uh, maybe like two Sonic Adventure 2 levels and then the boss battle against the Bio Lizard and then two Shadow the Hedgehog levels and then the boss battle against the um, Black Doom who appears to be returning. And then uh, another two, probably Sonic 06 levels, and then maybe a boss fight, boss battle against um, Mephilus, I think would be fun as well. <laughs> I, I know that probably seems a little bit out of place. However, like, Sonic Generation specifically it had, does a really good job of taking games that, like Sonic 06 and everything like that, and like remaking a lot of things to fit them better, and I, I think that'd be really neat to see like a Mephilus boss battle, and it would really really be neat. And I don't think they're gonna do this. However, it'd be really neat to see if they the final boss was Sonic and Shadow getting together and them trying to take down Solaris from Sonic 06. I think that'd be really really neat, and getting some remasters of that sort of stuff would be nice to see as well. However, yeah, I don't think they're gonna do that. I think. I, I have an inkling that what we've seen in the trailer is all is going to be, like Westopolis that stuff on the arc, I can't remember the stage from Sonic Adventure 2, uh, the Grand Rail one out in space, and and then the Bio, um, bio Lizard and Duck, uh, Black Doom battles, and I hope there's more than that, I really do hope there's more than that. 
However, like, yeah, the possibility of what could come from it, I think, is amazing. I must say, Sega seems to have a really big thing for, like, digital spaces, almost, <laughs> at the moment. Like, in Forces, they had a uh, null space. In Frontiers, they have cyberspace. And while Shadow's falling through Westopolis, which I think it is, type thing, like, he's in, like, a very kaleidoscope-like animation, and then while he's falling, there's, like... I, I can't tell if they're, like, flames. However, they look digital surrounding like a floating building <laughs> it's just like okay i don't know it's something sega seems to like at the moment it is very like cyberspace stagey um what i'm very excited for is like because this is my type of song like um i much prefer the linear fast boosting sonic games like unleashed like unleashed is my favorite game uh, Black Knight I have a huge soft spot for that's why it's my second favourite and then Generations is probably my third favourite and those are all very linear <laughs> and uh, I understand like most people don't want them to be too overly linear however like yeah uh, I'm really excited for this I'm hoping the level design is on par with base Generations that's that's something I'm really hoping um, I don't know we'll, we'll find out <laughs> that, that's something we'll, we'll see yeah, basically, I really hope Sega uses the full potential of this and doesn't end, end it up like Episode Shadow from Forces, where it's like, there's not <laughs> that much and the level design isn't like that. I mean, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm one of the few people who enjoy Forces, for the most part. I can I can see all of its flaws, though. Like it, It's a very problematic game, however, like for the most part, I do enjoy forces however yeah i'm not going to defend it from anyone who thinks forces is horrible um however like the level design in that game is very very like subpar i feel and the episode shadow stuff is it's like blocks <laughs> lots of blocks that they place down one thing i must note about this trailer is they went back and redid the pre-rendered cutscene to have shadow in it and that is a little bit more effort than i would have expected from sega <laughs> Therefore, it does put my hopes up a little bit. I, I'm trying not to keep my, like get my expectations too high, and I, I'm gonna try keep my expectations as uh, this trailer is all we've got type thing. However, like I don't know the possibilities of what could be keep rushing through my head, and I, I think it would be fun to see a lot of that. Um, yeah, I, I'm curious to <laughs> going back to the naming convention, Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. To me, that tells me that the shadow portion must be fairly significant because, like, the main generations isn't that long. It's about four hours long. It's, it's a pretty short game. It, it, it tells me that the shadow section might be on par, if not a little bit longer. However, it's quite possible it's not. I don't know. Otherwise, like, I feel like Sonic Generations Ultimate would have been... Sonic Generations, like, they missed the thing, I feel, because Sonic Colors Ultimate was... That, that was Sonic Colors Ultimate, <laughs> we'll say. And um, they could have called this Sonic Generations Ultimate because Shadow, the ultimate life form type thing. Like, I think that would have fit perfectly. However, like, I don't know. The, the, the Shadow part seems to be a huge portion of what's coming in. I think it's going to be interesting to see how much of it it takes up. Yeah. Anyway, I, I probably should end this video here because I'm going to keep on rambling otherwise. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. I'm pretty sure there was, however, my brain cannot remember. Exactly what it is right now. Mm, no. Yeah. Hopefully, I, I'm hoping like Sonic and Shadow do meet up and like there's like some sort of like crossover part in the mini campaign. However, I, I kind of doubt there is. I, I have a feeling the way the story is going to go is um, Shadow's gonna like because Shadow wasn't in the, at the party at the start of Generation, then he showed up at near the end of it. And uh, I have a feeling this is going to be like, what happened to Shadow while Sonic was busy doing everything in Generations? And this is like Shadow's side of the story, and then he will show up at the party at the end. I have a feeling that's what's going to be <laughs> the ending of, of Shadow's campaign. Anyway, yeah, no, I, I'm super excited. This is probably the most excited I've been in a long time for something Sonic related, I guess. Even though, like, like anyone following my channel would know that, like, I really like, um... Frontiers as well. <laughs> that will be it. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I shall be back in the next one. Cheers, everyone.